All right, welcome back. I am going to be polishing this little guy up so that I have a tripod for filming. I picked this up. I don't really know how old it is or anything like that. I just thought it was cool because it's all polished aluminum. So I'm gonna do some polishing on it. I've already done some test runs in some spots to see what exactly I need to do. And uh, yeah, it's pretty cool old piece of history. Probably was quite expensive in its day, but I'm gonna take it completely apart, clean it up and we'll see how she turns out. There's gonna be some stuff I can't get fully like this because these legs come off, but then you have to do some weird deep pinning and I don't really want to destroy it. But uh, we'll see how it turns out. Well, it appears I'm not going to be getting crazy into it. I'm not trying to take the whole thing apart. Just wanted to do a basic cleanup. I thought this would slide out. It appears that it will not. Unless I might be able to pry it out. We'll see in a second. Sir Bob. It's interesting. I don't exactly know how it's held in there. It looks like there's something recessed. Let's see if I get a little bit of movement like this. Nope. That's interesting. don't know so we're just gonna have to do our best in those little corners and we'll see how it comes out So I think we're going to start with this guy. I think I'm going to avoid this for now because that's going to be pretty difficult to get polishing. Might have to bust the smaller uh, buffer out. But so I'm using a 180 grit and then it's like a flannel buffing wheel. So these are pretty pitted probably from just getting moisture on them. So I'm going to scuff them a little bit bring them back to a brushed look not getting crazy with it just trying to make it more functional because it was pretty corroding and everything was not really working that well let's do all the small ones first
That feels like adhesive. Are they all? Yep, they've all got some sort of adhesive on them. See if the buffer takes that off. If not, I'll have to use a degreaser or an adhesive remover. having to use a wire wheel to get the glue or whatever was on it off. Acetone did not really touch it, neither did any degreasers or anything like that. So the wire wheel left a worse surface finish, but it is what it is. I had to get the glue off to properly polish it. So it'll take more Scotch-Brite work and more buffing to get it back to a mirror finish. Just a couple more steps, but it's still recoverable, so that's good. So what I'm doing here is I'm using the gray scotch bright to break the material down just a little bit more and get it smoother after I've already buffed it. What this is going to do is allow me to get a little bit smoother of a surface. Um, it'll give it more of a polished look when I go back through a second time with the buffer. I'll do this a couple times with a lot of the tubing and it will allow me to get a lot better of a finish with all the pitting that is all over this tubing. And it'll look a little bit better. I'm not going for perfection on it because it is gonna get scraped up in use from tightening everything down and 
moving the, the tubing around and everything to get a good shot with probably the camera or whatever, but it's going to work for what I need. Now this right wheel that I'm putting the red finishing compound on, it's like a jeweler's rouge for very soft metals like brass and stuff like that. But what I'm doing is I'm doing my finishing passes across the aluminum tubing and that is going to give me my mirror shine that really brings the depth out of the metal. Um, it takes a little bit more practice to do this step and the best way to do it is to do like a cross hatching method. You can tilt the tubing on an angle, make a pass, and then tilt it on an opposite angle and make a pass again so that you're making a cross-hatching pattern on the metal and it is less obvious with hazing or anything like that. It gives a really good mirror shine to the metal.
finished everything up. I went with a brush look on the handle and then polished this, the shaft. Came out pretty decent. This up here was not able to get a whole lot. I really wish I could take this apart, but I don't really have the time right now to sit here and take everything 100% apart and get it perfect. I'm just trying to get it usable and it being half decent and not catching everywhere when you're trying to adjust something. Probably could have sprayed it down with oil, but I took the hard way out of that. So we're gonna get this guy back together now. I believe this one went here. I should actually put some antiseize on it.
All right, I'm finished up. I lubed everything up, made sure everything's working. It's smooth as butter now. Everything moves a lot better. It's a lot more cleaned up. So I'm very happy with how this turned out. And it looks a lot better. Looks crazy on camera. It's not as crazy in person, but I appreciate you watching. If you've gotten to this point, like, comment, subscribe. And I will see you in the next video. Stay tuned for videos on these trucks and that car right there. Y'all have a good one.